Hello my friends, this is Mrs. Smith here, and this is for fourth graders. We're doing Unit 4 Lesson 7, which is on page 153 of our books. And in what we're focusing on today is when we read a word problem, before we start just slapping some numbers together to see what comes out, we need to like visualize the problem in the world so that we can figure out how to, you know, write it down as equations or expressions. And there's more than one way to do that a lot when there's a, a multiple steps involved. So we're going to talk about two different ways to do that right now and then have some practice time. So let's jump into it. It says here, sometimes you'll need to work through more than one step to solve a problem. The steps can be shown in one or more equations. Okay, so we're going to solve this and then we're going to look at their um, strategies. At Parks Elementary School, there are six fourth grade classes with 17 students in each class on Friday 23 fourth graders brought lunch from home and the rest of the students bought lunch in the cafeteria how many fourth graders brought lunch in the or bought lunch in the cafeteria on Friday so imagine six classrooms each have 17 students, okay? So that's like six times 17, right? That's the total number of fourth graders. Then you make a math mountain, you have your total now, which is your six times 17, right? That's your total, parentheses around that. Some of them brought lunch from home. The rest bought lunch from the cafeteria. This is what we're looking for. So what operations do we do to find that number? Well, um, to find this missing partner, we can subtract. So we'll write down the equation, six times 17 in parentheses to show we need to do that first to find the total, and then subtract 23 equals whatever the number is. Take out my whiteboard so I have space to work it out. You might hear some rain in the background. It's raining for me over here. So 17 times six, six times seven is 42, and six times 10 is 60. Add those up and you get 102. So there's 102 total kids. Oh, it's hailing. <laughs> there's 102 total kids. Now we're gonna take that, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna remove those kids who uh, brought lunch from home. So then we have 102 minus 23, uh, two minus three, can't do that, so you gotta ungroup nothing there, so you go over here. You have zero hundreds, 10 tens, leave nine of those tens, bring one of them over to join the ones place, and now you have 12 minus three, which is nine, and nine minus, nine tens minus two tens, which is seven tens. So then we found we have 79 kids. It is definitely hailing out there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so so that's what we did. Now we're going to look at Tommy and Lucy's methods here. Solve the problems again by finishing Tommy and Lucy's methods. Then discuss how the two methods are alike, like how they're similar, and how they are different. Okay? So... Uh, Tommy's method, he writes an equation for each step. First, he's finding the total number of students who are in fourth grade. We did that too, and that was 102. Then he subtracted the number of students who brought lunch from home. We did that too, and we got 79. Okay, then Lucy's method, she says let n equal the number of students who brought lunch, or bought lunch, I should say. So then she has six times the number of students in each fourth grade class, which is 17, and minus the number of students who brought lunch from home, which was 23. Now, you, you'll notice I put parentheses and she didn't, and because the first step when you go from left to right here is um, the multiplication step, you would do this first even without parentheses, but I, I don't know, it's kind of a preference of mine to just always put it just to be very clear and obvious. So then we're gonna do from left to right. We simplify that first step. We have 102, which is six times 17, and we minus 23, 
And guess what? We get 79. So, what do they have in common? Well, first you have to find the total number of kids, and then you remove the kids that uh, brought lunch from home, right? Um, they did it differently. He wrote it in two lines. She wrote it all in one line. Um, they're both mathemat mathematically correct and valid. Often, though, as you get older in math, you'll see more things, multi-step equations, where you have both of the steps written in one equation, and you have to use that order of operations to figure out what you're going to do first. Okay. Let's do one more, and then you guys will be able to practice on your own and check out your Think Central. So let me erase this here. Use an equation to solve, discuss the steps you used. So we're going to aim for doing something like this, like what we did before. Susan buys 16 packages of hot dogs for barbecue. Each package contains 12 hot dogs. Now this is, this is a fun, true event. Hot dog buns are sold in packages of eight. How many packages of hot dog buns does Susan need to buy so she will have one bun for each hot dog? The hot dog <laughs> bun industry trying to get you to buy more packages doesn't line up with the number of hot dogs. Okay, so first we need to figure out how many uh, hot dog dogs she has so that'll be our 16 times our 12 and then we're going to figure out how many groups of eight there are in that number so we can buy the right number of buns okay so that looks like first 16 times 12 and then divided by eight how many groups of eight in that number are there now um, just to be very clear I'm putting that in parentheses because we need to find that number first um, we wouldn't want anyone to do 12 divided by 8, eight even though they shouldn't anyways because you should go right with the order of operation so uh, 16 times 12 you know it's been a while let's go ahead and do one of these 6 10 plus Oops. All right. What is 10 times 10? 100. 10 times 6? 60. 10 times 2? 20. And 2 times 6? So we add that up. 100 plus 60 plus 20, which is 80. 180 plus 12. 180 plus 12. 190. Oops. Oh, that's off the screen. 192, right? Now, that's our first step. We're not done yet. We're going to do that second step, divide by 8. So, 192 divided by 8. 8 can go into 19 two times, and you get uh, 16. Uh, and then, back that. You get 3, bring that 2 down. 8 goes into 32 times. So she she will need to buy 24 packages of hot dog buns so that she can P for packages. P equals 24 packages of buns. And I can tell you right now when I had to have a barbecue, I did the same math. So I got the right number of buns. <laughs> okay. So you can go ahead and work through these ones on your own and then do your Think Central. And uh, if you need any help, come see me or your teacher. All right. Bye-bye.